Good morning, everyone, and thanks for tuning in for another episode of Smart Fox TV. Remember, if you do like our videos, please subscribe. Welcome back to Smart Fox TV. This month is Women's History Month, and we are going to talk about Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Ruth, an inspirational woman who spent a lifetime flourishing in the face of adversity, was affectionately called RBG by her supporters. She inspired generations of women to break gender barriers. Facing gender discrimination, she pursued her academic goals and became the second woman and the first Jewish woman to serve on the Supreme Court. Ruth Bader Ginsburg was born on March 15, 1933 in Brooklyn, New York. She was born to a Jewish family. Her father, Nathan Bader, immigrated from the United States and Celia Amster Bader was a native of New York. Miss Gins Ms. Ginsburg graduated from Cornell with a bachelor's degree and with high honors in government and distinction in all subjects. She then went to Harvard Law and was one of only nine women in the class of 500 students. She often would face gender discrimination, often had to explain why she was chosen for a spot in place of a man. Ginsburg had personal struggles, but she did but she did not let them deter her in any way from reaching and exceeding her academic goals. Ruth Bader began her career as a justice where she left off as an advocate fighting for women's rights. In 1996, she wrote the majority opinion in United States versus Virginia, holding that qualified women could not be denied admission to Virginia Military Institute. She attacked specific areas of discrimination and violation of women's rights one at a time. Ginsburg was appointed to the United States Court of Appeals in 1980 and served for 13 years before being nominated as the Associate Justice of Supreme Court by President Bill Clinton in 1993. She took her seat and became the second woman and first Jewish woman. She fought tirelessly for gender equality under the law, battled sexism in her own life and career, juggled motherhood, caring for her cancer-stricken husband while in law school. She was a role model to what every young girl and every adult woman in proving what they are capable of achieving. RBG understood what kind of change she wanted to make. She co-founded the first law journal on women's rights and co-founded the Women's Rights Project at ACLU, American Civil Liberties Union. She argued six cases before the Supreme. She argued six cases before the Supreme Court and won five. And she didn't stop there, as she made sure that her daughter, as well, followed in her followed in her suit and became the first mother daughter to teach on the same law faculty. RBG inspired the next generation of women to pursue law. Her daughter Jane, the younger Ginsburg, followed her mother's footsteps to become a law professor at Columbia. And what makes RBG even more special is the fact that she became a pop culture icon. Before her death, Ginsburg was on the height of popularity for young people, and they continued to embrace her as a role model for justice, perseverance, and female empowerment. Her trademark glasses, the bun, the fancy jabots make her a favorite, along with her nickname, Notorious RBG. RBG will continue to inspire the next generation of women. Thanks for listening. Have a wonderful Smart Fox Day. Hi guys, welcome to Smart Fox TV News. Today we have two stories for you, one about a man and his cats and another about two women who started a nonprofit that's doing amazing things. So in our first story, in a country that loves its cats to the point of making cat hotels for the strays, one lucky cat was saved during the earthquakes in Turkey by a fireman. 
Ali Kakas found him buried in rubble, likely under there for 10 days. Kakas named the cat Enkaz, meaning rubble in Turkish, and gave him some food and water while he continued to work. Enkaz wouldn't leave his side at all and was later adopted by Kakas. They now sleep together in the same bed and have really bonded through the earthquake trauma. Enkaz has become the mascot of Kakas's fire department and has many followers on social media. For many families, what also makes it painful when they lose loved ones is to see their unfinished crafts. One nonprofit called Loose Ends has connected many people with crafters who help finish blankets, sweaters, and other things left behind by loved ones. Loose Ends is based in Maine and Seattle and have helped many people with projects. That has included helping to finish a pair of mittens and a sweater that were left behind by Barbara, a great-grandmother who was making it for her great-grandson Ethan before she passed. Loose Ends has brought many people peace in knowing that some unfinished projects by their loved ones can now be enjoyed, finished by hands of strangers willing to help them. We hope you enjoyed today's good news. This is Kim. Hi, this is Sally. Hello, this is Tracy. This is Shane. And thanks for watching Smart Fox TV. Stay, Stay foxy. foxy.